Oh, <laughs> yes. The way in the background, uh, Jerry, back and the kiddos are back there. We should, we might have enough for the kiddos back there. Do we have enough for the kiddos back there? In the classroom, there. Y'all know y'all can get a little clean of this morning, okay? But uh, deep love in a shallow world, but that there, just a small, a small uh, token of appreciation. And now if I see a lot of white chocolate or uh, dark <laughs> chocolate on people's faces, I know what y'all do. And if I see any stains on up you, I know exactly what y'all do. But y'all don't see no napkins. I don't see no paper towels anywhere. But I just uh, want to say that... Uh, Love you, love you, love you. But the title of this one, Dark, excuse me, I'm thinking Dark Chopper. Y'all saw it. Got me sidetracked. Deep love in a Bless shallow it. world. You know, we, we live in a culture and a society that, hey, the word love is as passed around yeah. casually, just casually uh, in our culture. And, and uh, sometimes we use it. Uh, hey, have you ever heard someone say, oh, I just love that restaurant? Or maybe uh, y'all heard say someone say, oh, I just love that food. Or my favorite food is, is mine is spaghetti. Oh, I love spaghetti. And the list goes on. You know, oh, I love spring. Oh, I love fall. But our a favorite team. You know, have you heard people say, oh, oh I love this team. I love that team. <laughs> But yet we throw the word love around casually, don't we? We do. Uh, not meaning uh, anything, but yeah, we do. Uh, but sometimes we, when we do that, the word love kind of loses its definition or the true meaning of it, doesn't it? Well, guess what? Uh, how do we love deeply in such a shallow world? Have you heard someone say, Oh, you're shallow. Or maybe a, a person, oh, that's a shallow person. Have you heard someone say that? I know I have. Maybe someone has done you wrong, or maybe someone has done someone else's wrong, and they skew that phrase. Oh, boy, that's a shallow. I just can't believe they've done that. Well, how do we love deeply, especially in a shallow world? Um, and... Uh, the answer is in who? You got your Bible. Deuteronomy, you might be already there. Chapter 6. And we'll read. Verse 1. Now these are the commandments, the statute of the judgment, which the Lord our God command to teach you, that ye might do them in the land, whether ye go to possess it, or wherever you go, Verse 2, that thou mightest fear the Lord thy God to keep all his statutes and his commandments which I command, command thee, thou and thy son, and thy son's son, all the days of my, or excuse me, thy life, your life, and that thy days may prolong. Hear therefore, o, o Israel, and observe to do it, that it may be well with thee, and that ye may increase mightily, as the Lord God of thy fathers has promised thee, and the land that floweth with milk and honey. Oh, and this is important. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, verse 5, and thou shalt love the Lord with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might and these words which I have commanded thee this day shall be in thy heart and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children thou shalt talk of them 
when thou sittest in thy house, when thou walkest by the way, and when they lie down, and when thy, or excuse me, thou raisest up, and thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thy hand, and thou shalt be as frontlet before thy eyes. In verse 9, and thou shalt write them upon the post of thy house, and on thy gates. The answer is in who, not in how or what we love, but our ability to extend our love. See, this amazes me. Uh, there was a, back in uh, school, I remember uh, in middle school, there was a boy. I won't say the name, but uh, he, he was sad. So I went to go talk with him, and, and uh, I asked him, I said, you all right? He said, yeah. He said, I'm just sad. And I was looking at him, and he had just, what could you be sad about? And he was telling me, he, and I said, well, you got all the nice things, like maybe popular shoes and, you know, uh, clothes and everything. And what I, what I can remember uh, what made me say, and I've, I've heard a lot of things, but he said, that home. I said, what's going on at home? You know, I'm just a little kid. He said, I have everything that anybody could have. But I, when I have everything that I need, but I do not have the relationship with my father. I said, well, I'm, I'm so sorry. He said, and don't get me wrong, we, I know, we have to work. And he said, he always worked all the time. I'm longing for that. Do you know what? God is always longing for us. Yes. He's always. Amen. And how do we, I love him with all your heart. With all your, with everything. We cannot truly Love until we know the source of it. And that's God. Remember that verse, God is love. What's what I'm trying to think here how to phrase it. If you had everything, but yet you're longing a time for someone or a relationship. I remember, you know, that boy saying, I, I got everything I need, but I'm longing for that relationship. You know, our source is God, because God is love, especially in the time that we need him truly. But not only that, that we seek him in our prayer time, uh, when you're driving to work, what our schools. But then God tells us what we need to do in verse 7. Teach the children daily. Well, I don't have any kids, uh, but you live in a community that there are kids. Constantly. Talk to them. All the time. See, we are called to love with all our hearts and our minds, our soul. This means choosing Him over everything and everyone. Do you think God deserves that? Of course. Of course. Why? Hey, he did something that I sure wouldn't want to do for any of y'all or the world. What's it, what do you mean? Oh, I don't. I wouldn't want to sacrifice Jennifer or Jacob. No. Would you? No. But let me tell you something. With God Almighty loving us so deeply that we... Boy, how can we understand? There's someone posted this, and I really did enjoy it. That's why I'm sharing this. This is not mine. So the boy asks his father, Dad, what is the size of God? Then the father looked up at the sky and saw a plane and asked his son, What is the size of this plane? 
The boy replied, it is very small. I can hardly see it. Then the father took him to the airport as they approached a plane. He asked, now, my son, how big is this plane? The boy replied, wow, dad, it's huge. Then the father told him, God's size depends on how close or far you are to him. The closer you are to him, the greater and greater he will be in your life. Amen. See, that's why I encourage you daily, daily. Boy, when you're around the table, when you're in your communities, hey, talk, 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 talk. Let the love of Christ there's today, this morning, there's these three people. Boy, they were just laughing. And I was getting some things. And uh, boy, I just stood there. And they just kept on laughing and laughing. And so I started laughing myself. Didn't know what they were talking about, but they were just laughing. I was picking out some things. And so anyways, they departed from each other. And I got my items and I walked to that lady. I said, man, I said, I don't know what you guys are laughing about, but let me tell you something because you guys laughed. I was laughing over there and I know people thought I was just crazy laughing by myself, but yet what you guys were laughing, I said, boy, I needed that. And she said, oh, well, you're welcome. You know, we would talk to chit chat and I said, well, I gotta go. So anyways, when I was going to the checkout, and I asked the lady, I said, can you help me? She said, yeah. And I said, I was talking to your co-worker. I said, I don't know what you were laughing about, what she was laughing about, or what he was laughing about, but boy, you guys got me laughing too. I said, now I know where to go and who I need to find if I ever need someone to laugh with. Boy, she started laughing again. And then I started laughing. And uh, she said, well, come on. Come on, we're all, always open 24-7. I said, yeah, I know that's right. You guys are. But man, got me to think when I left, God's that way. I'm open 24-7. Do you need a laugh? Come on. You need someone to talk to? Come on. Hey, you need somebody to love? Come to me. And then, let me tell you something. Then go out in the world and talk. There's kiddos out there. Oh, but, but I'm not a kid no more. Oh, you are in God's eye. Doesn't matter how young you are, how old you are, you are still a child of God. Amen. And He is love. Yes, that may be choosing Him over everything and everyone, but they make fun of me. That's okay. I remember my friends that I had. I'm still friends with them, but do I talk with them on a regular basis? No, not like I used to. Because I decided, hey, God's views, the word, God's word, I'm sticking to them. Well, Chewy, you need to be open-minded. No, I don't. But let me tell you something, I still love you. Can we disagree? Yes, we can. But let me tell you something, what God's word is, I'm going to stand firm on it. I still love you. Not do anything. I'll take my shirt off if you need it. But let me tell you something. Can this world be shallow? It can be. It can be. But let me tell you something. I'm choosing God no matter what. And when I look now and I praise God and even my prayer time, Lord, look how much many more people. I may have lost a few. But I've gained so much now. Brothers and sisters in Christ, people I can call on, because there's time I have. Let me tell you something. Hey, something's broken. How you fix it? And it's something nine o'clock, ten. But yeah, how much you gain? Choosing him. Choosing God. We Offer our lives to him that all that we have and all that we are and all that we hope to become 
not out of duty, but pure delight. Not because we're supposed to, oh, we're supposed to love one another. No, because God changes us. He molds us that we want to. I've told you guys stories how many times I've helped someone and boy, you feel like that pain in your back because of that knife. But you know, let me tell you something. Do I linger on it? No. Because I said, God, you take care of it because you have called me to do something. Let me tell you something. Jesus, perfect man on this world, healed people, did miracles, fed thousands of people. And let me tell you something. Where did he end up on the cross? For you and I, because he loved us. Let me tell you something. He's alive and well for this day and forever. Amen. When we let the love of God overwhelm us, we are able to love him and other deeper and deeply. Wow. Wow. When we allow God to overwhelm us with his love and his grace and his mercy, I've heard many times, Lord, I know you call me to forgive. Oh boy. But yes, it's much easier. Because let me tell you something. When you say, God, you handle it. You call me to be a light for you, and I'm going to. Just remember Jesus. He did the ultimate sacrifice, love. God calls us to have a deep love in a shallow world. Let's pray. Heavenly Father.